Hey guys, this is KSB with Tape, and today you join me um, taking a look at the ships that I use in that Operation Blackhawk. I haven't done an Operation Blackhawk video in a while. Um, I am probably going to do a, a cinematic soon, but it's kind of been on the back burner, you know, with my whole A-levels and stuff. <laughs> I know, nonsense. But anyway, I thought I might as well do this, it'd be fun and all that stuff. Um, so this is the carrier from the last episode that got destroyed by um, the Imperial Frigate. Uh, which we'll get to in a minute. This is the capital ship today, I think, because I'm going to split it up so they're not really long, tedious videos because, you know, stuff. Um, yeah, so, you know, as you start off, you can see it's kind of constructed out of these uh, um, structural wings. Uh, it's not actually brilliantly seamless. You can see it's a bit, you know, you can see it's not brilliantly put together here because that was um, that was made slightly different to differently to all these parts. Basically, um, each section of these, like, I guess you'd call it armor is what it would be, because, I mean, it did defend from some of those missiles um, from the X-Wing X fighters, which we'll take a look at in a future episode. Um, but basically, uh, I don't know if it'll work now, but if you take that off, yeah, see, it comes off in sections. Um, so we'll undo that. Uh, I will be putting this in orbit and probably blowing it up again. Oh, inside I have the Morpheus fighter, because... Oh yeah, I know I put it in there for that 100 subscriber video. Um, we'll take a look at the Morpheus fighter in a bit, but that is the kind of ship that I'm using, the little kind of support ship I'm using with this in a bit. I kind of, for now even, um, I kind of want to um, make a lighter fighter, but lighter fighter, it rhymes, uh, so it can take more and it doesn't take, and it's easier to fly in, because it was really hard to actually get this in. Um, you can see here on these little docking ports um, are the missiles that the Morpheus fighter used. Um, they're just fairly simple little engines and stuff. Uh, the command pod, obviously a, com a cupola module, because that just looks quite nice to look out of. Although I rarely do, because you can't command it from there. You have to command it from the uh, docking port. <coughs> um, it does have armament of its own, so it's not a. It's kind of a war-based carrier. In here, these uh, missiles, which were terribly ineffective in the battle, and uh, probably cost it some. Uh, oh no, no, they did hit the uh, frigate. They get caused a nice little explosion. Um, they're just basically slightly bigger versions of the ones that the Morpheus fighter carries, and these are the ones which were awful, um, these RCS ones, which took me ages to get right to fly, because they're so hard to goddamn aim at stuff, in a, cinema a cinematic view, because I didn't want to have the um, nav ball open, um, I kind of, I, I, I um, yeah, I didn't want to have the nav ball open, because that wouldn't be very cinematic, I wanted to kind of make it look nice, but these are just RCS things that you can control, aim at what you want to hit, and just kind of throw on the RCS and attack them. Um, around all that is kind of this silly little, I've put a bunch of wings and control surfaces to try and make it look somewhat not terrible. I'm not sure how well that worked, but um, and then a couple of solar panels. It's powered by these four nuclear engines, as I'm sure you saw in the uh, episode, and I'm sure you can deduce right now. It's fair, so you know, it's fairly efficient. It has a lot of delta V, uh, and then it has this back armor, which was just out of convenience for building, but you know, keeps the inside safe from a uh, fairly easy place to attack. Um, and then inside, you've got these two big, well, no, three big fuel tanks. Um, they're all tied together, so that gives me tons of delta V. Um, and obviously, there's enough space to bring eight extra Kerbals, who might be fighters or scientists or whatever you want, and a bunch of FAS because, um, well, it's. Uh, well, I need control, it's not brilliantly stable, and then a huge amount of RCS, but I think that's about it for, it for this, without going through every little bit. I mean, that's the basis of the fighter. The fighter? The uh, Raven. It's called the Raven, the, f um, the carrier, but I assume I'm going to have to change the name for the next one if I... I'm going to change these missiles, because most of them didn't work brilliantly. God damn it, someone outside has a moped, and that is loud. If you can hear that, I'm sorry, it's some guy who thinks he's cool. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. But, oh, and these front panels, weirdly enough, um, on the way out to Duna, they got space crackened. That, you may have noticed, two of them were missing at Duna. I, they got completely space crackened. Um, anyway, I will, uh, move on to the frigate, and I will see you in a second. Okay, so now you join me with the Imperial Frigate, the evil ship that took out the, uh, well, took out everything. It attacked the uh, Morpheus fighter, and it just destroyed the, uh, the um the Raven, which is actually pretty good for the video, I guess. Uh, this is a small frigate. It's not one of the huge kind of. Yeah, it's not a huge one, but it has quite a lot of missiles. Um, inside it's got, it's got four of these uh, little missiles, which were quite nice. They uh, did some damage to the Morpheus fighter. Actually, didn't destroy it. Oh, they're still around Duna. And then these 
huge missiles, these big solid rocket boosters. I'm not sure what I'd call these. I think I call these little ones Hellfire missiles, and these ones just, I don't know, bunker busters or something. Those dealt huge damage. It carries two of them. Um, this can be fired in succession or not. Um, obviously it has this, like, the Raven has, like, those wing surfaces, and this has just kind of proper armor. I mean, this is pretty indestructible. I mean, these uh, big missiles hardly ever get through it. Um, unless they build up speed, obviously. Uh, inside we've got kind of quite a bit of fuel, just these small tanks so it keeps it small. This is more of a simple ship to go through because it's just kind of basically fuel, two nuclear engines, so it's very efficient, it has quite a lot of delta V. Um, and then a two-man pod because it needs a co-pilot and stuff, a bit of armor around it. That's about it. It is uh, The armor is constructed in the same way, um, kind of you can take it off modularly. Uh, oh, that's actually a pretty good way to see the inside of the ship, look, yeah. And it's all supported by these little, um, these little struts. I mean, that really strengthens the armor. But yeah, that's the inside of the ship. Um, and all of my missiles have these docking ports behind them, so that I can reload them with probably a slightly different setup. But you know, it would still work. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to put these in orbit now, and uh, you know, blow up the Raven again because that's fun to watch. And then we'll get to talk about the missiles. Yay! See you in a bit. Okay, I'm back, and I thought this scene was very cool. Um, I was going to move them apart to hide that I had cheated these into orbit for now. Um, I will be doing a kind of launching big ships video at some point, but I literally don't have time right now. Um, but yeah, uh, because I had to hyper edit these into orbit, sorry. Um, yeah, but basically you can see how awesome this looks. Um, because they were right next to each other, you can see this little frigate is so much smaller than the carrier and it just looks, I just really like the scene, I don't know, I think this is probably gonna be the thumbnail of the video. Yeah. But anyway, this is gonna be a weapons test. I'm on the Raven right now, I think I'll use that one first because uh, it probably won't disable the frigate. I'll quickly quick save so that I can, you know, quick load should it actually disable it. Oh, controlling from the wrong place. It's best to control, oh, left the Morpheus fighter in there. Won't be using that now, that'll be in the uh, next episode of this probably, the fighter episode, where I, uh, show you all the fighters, the infamous X-Wings, um, those little, those ships actually had some problems at first, but I made them uh, work out pretty nicely. This has a not a great RCS balancing sort of system, it uh, kind of starts to flip, but the SAS brings it under control, so it's not that bad. Um, I'll just move so that when I turn I don't smash into the frigate, because that armor is much stronger than this. Let's First off, show you these awful things. It'll be easier to aim, um, you know, with the UI up. It is, that is one of the constraints of the, oh jeez, wrong thing. Um, one of the main constraints of the series is I want to make it look good and I enjoy making it look good and if I didn't, I wouldn't really enjoy doing the series. So I can't have like the UI up all the time and it's quite a lot of, uh, you know, flying and then uh, changing stuff. So we'll just accelerate with our one RCS port, getting a bit of, bit of velocity up. Probably won't do much because it's pretty tough armor, but yeah, <laughs> it's more of an anti-fighter uh, missile. I'm just gonna. Oh, it's lodged in there though, so that's good. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, yeah, so that's not brilliantly effective. Next are the little Hellfire missiles, as I call them, because it sounds cool, I guess. It sounds cool if you're a nerd like me. If you're like a normal person, then it's really lame. I'm so cool. Anyway, uh. <laughs> Ignite these engines, which are the missiles up front, I hope, and then fire them up, and then open fire. Oh, those flew really well that time, but they missed. Often they just kind of fly off randomly. Okay, I'll try and hone my aim. I think those do curve down a bit, annoyingly. Uh, so I'll try that again, and then let them go. Oh, ah, you see? Ooh, that looks like a good hit. Oh, god damn it! Tore it apart. Why couldn't you have done that around Dooney, you bastards? Really ripped some armor off. Those are pretty good uh, missiles. I might not have to reconfigure that so much. It was probably just uh, me at the time. <laughs> that missile's still stuck in there. But I think this is still alive and can probably deal some damage. Yes, it can. So, let's um, get the Raven and then kill it because it just, like, wrecked the armor. 
Um, where can I control from? One of these docking ports. Again, it's terrible to control from. Uh, there you go. Uh, busy if you control from the top part. I mean, that's facing up. It would be nice if you could like have custom directions in which you aim. Um, God, I'm really happy with that rend in the armor. Another missile shot there would probably tear it apart. That's pretty good. Yeah. You can see all the debris around the Raven now. That's just like the... Um, well, I like to think of them like shell casings, um, but they're, you know, they're stack separators. They look... That's one of my favorite things about firing something from the X-Wing fighters, is you can see the stack separators fly off a little bit after the... Um, after you fired the uh, missiles, which is quite cool. That's you just get to uh, doing a series like this is good because you get to do quite a lot of looking at fun, pretty things. Um, but uh, yeah, the other thing is it's really time consuming. Mainly editing, like well, it's all pretty time consuming. So I want to do keep doing it, but I for now, I mean, I'm going to be doing more videos like this and. That's the problem, is it's just been so easy to do Solar Civilization, because it's like, uh, <coughs> because it's just me playing KSP, although, like, it's kind of declining in views, but I don't mind too much, like, you know, I just really like doing it. <coughs> anyway, enough of that, enough of fl floundering with talk, let's, uh, ignite these engines, firing the first missile. Okay, that explosion is to be expected. Ooh, right in the gullet. Seriously, that looked good. Jesus. Whoa. My god. It, oh, it hit the Morpheus fighter. Jesus, that's a really tough fighter. Like, god damn. That looks awesome. I'm sorry, I'm very happy with that. Oh, look how cool that looks. Oh, I have to tab back through all this. Wait, why can't I switch to the... God damn. There you go. Wow, that... Mess that up, something savage. Wait, what am I turning now? What what's going on? Oh, now I'm. What now? I'm on the Imperial frigate. I might cut some of this terribleness out, but that was a really good hit. They are pretty good missiles at range. Um, okay, and we're quite far away now, so that's good. Okay, let's stop ourselves moving too much. Oh, God damn it. Leave me alone, Windows. It keeps asking me if I want to use sticky keys. No, I don't. I want to just for Windows to leave me alone. God damn it. Okay. I'm just going to fire all these in succession. Go. Oh, nice little explosion of the shell casing. Okay. Wow, look how destroyed this is. Those missiles are damn effective. Those are the same ones that just ripped apart the, uh, other cra- the, the, um, the frigate, but look at this. It's torn off engines. There is really very little left of this. Although, I think there's definitely enough to, um, you know, tear the crap out of this. Wait a minute. Oh, God. There you go, there. Ah, oh, it's so hard to actually get the right target. All right. There's a bit of, uh... There's a, there's a bit of... Carrier left. Let's follow these in. Oh. And there it goes. <sighs> That's the other great thing about this series. Is look at this. Look how nothing there is. Oh, I think I've killed him. Look at this. Look how few everything that. Yeah, shit, target lost. Ah, <laughs> oh, I killed him. Now I feel bad. But yeah, see, that is what the Imperial Frigate can really do. Anyway, I'll probably have to cut this up a bit because it's probably gone, been going on a little. Hey, what's that over there? I'll never find it. Um, but it's probably been going on a little long. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed watching ships be torn apart some more. And, uh, yeah, if you have liked this, feel free to like the video. It'll let me know to keep doing this sort of thing. And uh, this has been KSP with Tape. I'll see you next time.